What I'm most struck by is the cover-up that we are seeing in the context of these hearings. Uh, it, it should be fairly easy for both public servants and consultants to appear before this committee and simply tell us the truth. Uh, it, it, it is not a stressful proposition to appear before a parliamentary committee if you simply plan to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Um, but when but when we have people who say, uh, for instance, that a text message they sent was speculative and hypothetical when it when it ha- has every indication of, of stating direct knowledge of what happens inside government, uh, then then it raises other questions just simply of, of why there is this ongoing uh, multidimensional cover up from both public servants and from consultants. And it makes me wonder if, if one of the reasons why people are so reluctant to be forthright and answer direct questions it's, it is because of the kind of reprisals that we've seen. Uh, when you have senior public servants who are uh, a bit more forthright in the case of Mr. McDonald than others have been, who then see uh, um, uh, n- negative professional consequences after they've testified before this committee, uh, it, it maybe elucidates why uh, there are uh, there has been a reluctance for people to come forward. But it also uh, raises the question of of what's behind all this. What is being covered up? What uh, what what would we find out if we actually got the frank and and honest and clear answers from public servants and consultants that we want? 